let us discuss first shifting theorem it's very important theorem and with the help of this theorem we can solve many problems let us discuss first its proof after that we will discuss examples based on first shifting theorem so this first shifting theorem says if laplace of f of t is phi of s and when you have e raised to minus at as a multiple of f of t then the uh, phi of s plus a we will have so this thing we have to prove we will start with the given information and after that we will focus on the thing which we have to prove what we have here let me write we have the information is laplace of f of t is equal to phi of s this thing i have written so you know the definition of laplace transform let us write the definition here so this is equal to integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dd so this is laplace of f of t okay so the definition i wrote let us consider this part now we have to prove this one so consider consider laplace of e raised to minus a t f of t okay so again using the definition can you tell me what we have to write here when you have f of t inside a bracket you put simply f of t here but when you have e raised to minus ht a t as a multiple of f of t the same term we will uh, put here at a place of f of t so it will look like this integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st it will be as it is since this is a part of definition of laplace getting so this term this terms will be as it is at a place of f of t we have uh, this two term product of these two terms so let us write here e raised to minus at f of t dt so in this way with the help of, help of definition we could write it getting at a place of f of t simply we have to write product of these two terms i have done the same the next part is i will write integration zero to infinity so here we have a product having a same base getting so you can add powers so what will happen e raised to minus st minus at so minus st minus at f of t dt okay so we have space here let us use so this is equal to integration 0 to infinity i will write again e but see in power also minus t we can take common so it will look like this minus we have taken common s plus at f of t dt right so yes yeah, simply small adjustment i have done can you tell me this is nothing but what what is the difference between the original definition and this one here is 0 to infinity here also we have 0 to infinity we have f of t dt here here also we have f of t dt what is power of e minus st what is power of e minus s plus a t that means at a place of s we have s plus a this is the only difference the remaining part is same so we call it as phi of s so can you tell me this is nothing but so when you have s we write phi of s but when you have at a place of s s plus a we supposed to write phi of s plus a getting so yeah in this way we done getting so this is equal to phi of s plus a we proved that thing so the proof is over here okay so the proof was quite easy but the actual result is so much important so when you have e raised to minus at f of t then its laplace will be phi of s plus a it has one corollary also okay so that is laplace of e raised to at f of t if you have e raised to at f of t so it will be phi of s minus a so what i want to say if there is minus a you should add a and if there is plus a you should subtract a. exactly opposite thing we have to do when we solve problems that time that concept will be clear to you getting uh, yeah we will discuss examples simply make a screenshot of it after that we will discuss few examples let us discuss these two examples so let us discuss the first one we have to find laplace of e raised to 2t sin 3t first of all we will focus on the function which is in right hand side that is sin 3t we can easily write its laplace so laplace of sin 3t see formulas we have already seen okay and you have already prepared so laplace of sin 3t is 3 upon a square plus 3 square which is 9 so after considering sin 3t i will try to find the laplace of entire function e raised to 2t sin 3t so laplace of 
e raised to 2t sin 3t so by i should write by first shifting theorem see this first shifting theorem says if you already have the laplace of f of t and e raised to minus a t as a multiple of it you have to replace s by s plus a and its corollary says if you have e raised to plus a t you have to replace s by s minus a what we have e raised to 2 t 2 plus sign is there getting so that means we have to replace s by s minus 2 everywhere so laplace of sin 3 t already we have right i am going to replace s by s plus s minus 2 so 3 upon s minus 2 square plus 9 getting so this is equal to 3 upon i will expand a bracket a square minus 4 s plus 4 plus 9, 9 that means it will be 30 so this is a required laplace transform let us discuss this second example what we do first we uh, start with a right hand side function so the first function is laplace of t cube getting so t has a natural number as its power getting so we have the formula laplace of t raised to n it's n factorial upon s raised to n plus 1 if you don't know i will write here laplace of t raised to n is equal to n factorial upon s raised to n plus 1 so this formula i'm going to use here so n is equal to 3 so 3 factorial upon s raised to 3 plus 1 4 so we got its laplace right after that we will go further and we will consider the entire function so laplace of e raised to minus 4t t cube so i should write again by first shifting theorem when you have exponential raised to something we normally go for first shifting theorem in first shifting theorem what we do already we have its laplace right so in that laplace we replace s by s plus 4 since minus 4 is there when you have minus sign you have to add that number and when you have plus sign you have to subtract that number this is the simple logic behind it so minus 4 is there so i will replace s by s plus 4 let us see where is s here is only s let us replace it by s plus 4 so 3 factorial that means 6 and s plus 4 i am replacing s by s plus 4 since minus 4 is there and the power 4 and the remaining part will be same if you want you can expand the bracket otherwise you can consider this as a final answer getting so in this way we find laplace in next videos we are going to discuss few more interesting problems make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye